Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to compare the render test on CPU rendering and GPU rendering. In particular, the CPU we use is Intel Xeon W2245, while the GPU we use is one RTX 3090. We're going to compare CPU and GPU rendering on two projects. The former is a 3DS Max project with the V-Ray renderer, the latter is a Blender project. Now, let's get started. As you can see, the screen is divided into two sides. The left side is set up V-Ray with CPU rendering, and the other one is GPU rendering. We then both click to render. Since it's the same render engine, the rendering algorithm won't be too different on both CPU and GPU. There may have some differences in noise, but we can easily do setting to denoise. However, the render time is a big gap between them. 3 minutes and 54 seconds is the render time on GPU. While it took CPU 17 minutes and 7 seconds to complete. Let's move on to the next project with Blender. GPU rendering still shows its power when it's far ahead of CPU rendering. The render time on GPU is only 31 seconds. In the meanwhile, the CPU is way much slower, with even 13 minutes and 58 seconds. Apparently, image quality on CPU and GPU rendering is almost similar when using the same render engine. But GPU wins CPU in terms of render time, the render speed can be 10 times faster, or even more if we use multiple GPUs per computer. We highly recommend you take advantage of GPUs for rendering. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. I render, happy rendering, happy training.